Good morning, everyone. It's Victoria. I am coming to um, Facebook this morning to do a DIY with you. Um, we are doing the butterfly feeder craft today. Um, so obviously it's coming into spring, so lots of um, insects and things are coming out. And one that I love to enjoy are the butterflies. So today I'm going to show you exactly how you can make a butterfly feeder for uh, your backyard, your patio, whatever it is that you want to do, um, just from things you can find around your house. So um, basically what you're going to need is um, a stand and um, something to put your fruit and your nectar on. So um, basically these are things that I found either at my house or at dollar store. So um, for my base, um, I've got two bases, but basically you can do any type of um, base if you'd like to. You can also use, if you have like a, a um, cup that has a nice base on it. Um, I've seen people use um, like short wine glasses that have the short stems. You can use any of that. So um, I just happened to pick these little um, bubble bases for my base. And then you can use anything you want for the top of it. So I had this little garden dish at home. Um, this is something I'm pretty sure I've got from the dollar store. And so you can use this, it's plastic. Um, it's obviously a garden dish, so it's perfect for outside use. Um, so you can definitely use that as your topper. So basically it would set like that. You can see that there. Or you can get something that's a little bit more um, hefty and has a little bit of color on it. So I found this at the dollar store. Um, so it just makes it a little bit more colorful. I don't know how much you know about butterflies, but butterflies really love color. They actually have a really good color vision, which I was not aware of. Um, specific colors that they really, really like are red, orange, purple, and yellow. So um, some of those colors are in this dish here with the yellow, um, but you can do whatever you'd like. Um, you can also add, sometimes they'll do sponges um, that are those colors and they'll add it on top of here to kind of soak up that nectar. Um, so you can do any of that. But uh, basically you want to start with your base and you're going to um, use a hot glue gun around here to attach it. So again, super duper easy. So I'm gonna do that right now. So I've got my hot glue gun. Obviously be very careful with your hot glue gun. I'm gonna grab some more glue. And put as much as you want, it's more the better, just because you are putting something that's a little bit heavier if you use a plate. So there you go. You can also put things into the base. So on my next one, that's what I think I'm gonna do. Um, I bought these really cute lights at Dollar Store. Um, so you can see they have little flowers on them and it's the flowers that, the colors of the flowers that the butterflies actually like. So they're just little flowers, really cute. So you can also put things in the base, like I said. Um, so I'm just gonna take my other base and I don't have any batteries in it just yet, but I just wanna show you. You can just kind of feed that in there to give it some color and then stick that base on top. You can also do, um, if you'd like to, rocks. So these are also from the dollar store. They're just little colored rocks. You can really do whatever you'd like. Um, it's totally your own, like I always say. Um, I have a lot of people too that I've seen that have something as simple as this 
and then they take the spray paint and they spray paint it like the you know sea glass colors or whatever it is um, and just make it match your patio it's really really easy um, so the other thing that a lot of people do and I'll make this so you can see it so you can see there's my top you can also put little things little perches for the butterflies to actually land on and so that's why I have all of these rocks. So you can just spread the rocks around. It makes it look really pretty too. It just gives it a little bit something else, but it's great for the butterflies to be able to perch on so they don't get in the nectar that you're gonna make on there. So if you can see, there's some rocks on there, really nice. They look like glass. And again, I just got them at the dollar store. So the next thing I'm gonna show you is, um, so butterflies love fruit. So I have an orange here. So um, on most of the places that I look for butterfly things, it says, um, oranges and bananas are their favorite. So you can just do slices of, of oranges and slices of bananas and just like this and just set it right on your plate. Just like that. And that smell and the color of the orange will actually bring them to your patio. So you can do that or bananas. I don't have a banana today, but bananas work well too. The other thing you can do is um, actual nectar. So I already made my nectar because it does require you to use um, the stovetop. So basically it's gonna be four parts of water and one part of sugar. Um, so basically it's sugar water. But you're going to want to, after you um, mix those together, you want to boil your sugar water until the sugar completely dissolves. And so then it turns back to where it looks just like this, just like water. Um, it says that you can do big batches and usually you can put it in the refrigerator um, and it'll do, it'll stay for like three weeks. If you want to make big, big batches, it's totally up to you. Um, but basically after you add all of that in, you just, whoops, you just have to spread it around. And you've got those little perches, rock perches. You've got your fruit and that's it. It's really easy and eventually once the butterflies see what you have and catch on, they will be on your patio eating and drinking obviously um, they need water so you don't have to do the sugar water you can just put regular water on there um, and they'll still come with your fruit so i hope you enjoyed this little um, diy craft that you can use anything in your apartment that you want um, and then a glue gun and that's it and you can grab some fruit and put it on there or like i said you can make the sugar water nectar or just water. Um, if you have any other ideas or if you make one, please feel free to post it on our page. We'd love to see what you did. And we will be placing one outside to see if we can get butterflies. Let us know if you get some butterflies and what kind of butterflies you're getting. We hope you have a wonderful Monday and enjoy spring here in Austin, Texas. Have a great day.